Ben Simmons is probably a nice guy. Now, that's the title of this video. <sighs> it's unfortunate. Sixers lose to the Hawks. Game 7. I'm not going to do a recap. All I'm going to say is... Ben Simmons had a chance. He had a wide open dunk. And he passed it to Matisse Thibel. Who got double teamed. And missed the layup. After that. We knew the game was over. Trey Young hits a three. From like logo. We're down by five. It's over. And B turns the ball over. It's over. It's not Bede's fault, though. He had eight turnovers, but it's not his fault. So, the question of the day is, where is he going to go? Where is Ben Simmons going to go? Because we all know the process hasn't worked. And it's not going to work unless Ben Simmons is more aggressive. He doesn't have to shoot. He never had to shoot to be great. So many players don't shoot and they're great. He doesn't have to shoot. All he has to do is be more aggressive. And someone, someone in the organization just struck his confidence. Because, you know, every year we think he's getting better. But he's taking less shots. He's scoring less points. Less efficient. Every year. Since his rookie season. It's kind of sad. Because this guy. He's so talented. Especially on defense. So it's unfortunate. That. I made trade offers. For him. I'm proposing some trades for him. Because I think Ben Simmons is a really nice guy. I really do. I think he's a really nice guy. I really think he's a nice guy. So it's going to be sad trading him. And now that his trade value's down, we're going to have to give up more. So let's look into the trade offers. So, here's the first trade. We got Ben Simmons for CJ McCollum and a second round pick. Now, this is the most likely trade to happen. Everybody's talking about this trade. For that to happen, I feel like this could improve the Sixers' uh, fit and roster. And Tobias Harris doesn't have to be the secondary scorer. He can be a third dairy scorer, and he doesn't have to have that pressure in the playoffs. But, I will say, the defense drops from best in the NBA to top 15. Like, we got great defensive players, but Ben Simmons was the anchor. So... I mean, this trade can be good for both sides, actually. In my opinion, this trade is good for both sides. Ben Simmons playing at center position with the with the Blazers, and then Damian Lillard throwing lobs to Ben Simmons. That'd be pretty fun for the Blazers. And we get a secondary score that I hope will not choke in the playoffs. So, yeah. Out of all of them, this is the most likely not to happen. First of all, you might say, well, they don't want to pay Zach Levine, so they would trade for Ben Simmons. But they would be paying Zach Levine less than Ben Simmons is getting right now. So that makes no sense. This trade will, probably will not happen. It's trade, it won't happen. And the reason why you put Alfred Camino in, so is the salaries work. So like, yeah, the salary works. 
and Afro Camino. I mean, who wants him? So, honestly, this trade would be great for the Sixers, but I don't think the Bulls are going to accept it, even with the first and second round picks. I don't think they'll accept it. But Alfred Camino, he's just salary filler in this trade. He's really not important. He has a player option, so the Bulls probably don't want him to accept his player option. So they just give him to the Sixers. No importance. So this is the next trade that I think could happen. Because Bradley Beal's like 30. Ben Simmons is 24. The Wizards, I mean, if he wants out, this could happen. You get Shake Milton, a nice young player. You get draft picks. Honestly, I think this could work out. Although Bradley Beal is better than Ben Simmons. So they, they're going to need more. That's why we give them the draft picks. But we're in a win-now situation. So we don't care about the draft picks at this point. So this could happen. Honestly, I think the first one is the most likely to happen. I think this could definitely happen, though. If Bradley Beal wants out and Bede recruits him, sure. So, you know, Shake Milton, he's another dude that's like salary filler. Although he's good, and teams probably want him. Like, he's not t good to the point where we would care if it's Bradley Beal, so we don't care about Shake Milton. We have to give up Shake Milton, that's fine. You have to give up draft picks, that's fine. All we need is... Is Bradley Beal and we win all right so that's it for this video um, you know Ben Simmons it's tough but he needs to go he needs to be somewhere else don't think he's a bad player people are saying he's bad no he isn't he's not bad but when you underperform offensively that much in the playoffs then it's kind of sad, cause if he's if he was aggressive, we win the series. He took zero shots in the fourth quarter for five straight games of this series. That's unacceptable. We know Bradley Beal's not going to do that. We know Zach Levine's not going to do that, and we know CJ's not going to do that. So, it's unacceptable for Ben Simmons to just be not shooting in the fourth quarter. You get a fresh start on the Blazers, where you can, Damian Lillard and you can have some fun on lobs, probably get to the second round at best, lose to like the Clippers or Lakers, and then Damian Lillard will request a trade. And then you'll have your own team. So, Ben Simmons, this might work out for you. If you don't want to be in the shadow of Embiid, then, hey, Blazers, you can... Well, Wizards, how about that? The Wizards, Russell Westbrook is not going to steal your shine. You're the best player on the team. Yes, he's better than Russell Westbrook. And then you can shine. So it's a win-win situation. We get better with Bradley Beal. And you get your stardom. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later. Peace.